other day I was reading that they said that most Muslims believe, like, this is what, like, people from the past believe that only the taqwa of the person changes the iman is always... Say again? The taqwa of the person is what will change all the time. Uh, talk taqwa. slow. I don't understand. Yeah. The taqwa of the person always... Taqwa. 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 <laughs> yeah, taqwa. It's always changing, but the iman is... The iman is in the heart, but... I don't know how to explain it, but iman is always in there, but the person has to achieve it, but the taqwa is what always changes. Is that true? Nobody is going to be able to say in the judgment day that Allah didn't give me faith, so I am not responsible. There's people that they have no faith, right? They're not believing in anything. So, but they're not going to be able to say, well, you didn't give it to me, so. The seed of the faith is there. Allah put it to everybody. Now, when you have the seed, and you put it inside the ground, you know what you gotta do. You gotta put water in it to open up. You gotta keep it. You gotta watch it. So the faith is like that. So the taqwa is much as you run away from the, the things that Allah and His Prophet has forbid you from, and you're running to do the things that Allah and His Prophet advise you to do. Much as you do those things, Higher that you do, then you go to higher station. While you go to higher station, your faith is growing higher because you're fitting that through your actions, through your manner, through your lifestyle, you are putting nutrition to that seed of faith and the faith is growing. And more that this faith is growing inside now, more power comes to you now to be able to do things in the way of Allah and to run away from the things that it just gives pleasure to your own ego only. So the taqwa, yeah, that's why Allah is saying every human that we have created is the same in the presence of your Lord. Nobody has, nobody is higher than the other one. The black has no higher authority than the white or the white doesn't have higher. They are all same in my presence. I created them same or male or female, doesn't matter in that matter, in that manner. Why? Because we have created them in same, in same in what? Same meat and the bone and the blood. If I give two hands and two legs and one head, I created them same. Little difference in the, that's why uh, they not, the male and female is not same. They different. He created them different. Understand? But when it comes to taqwa now, if the woman using the taqwa and is moving higher station and is that, that is making her faith to grow uh, strong, she is in the front line. She is better than you that time. In that way, in the presence of the Lord, Allah is saying. Who was in higher station? The one who has more better taqwa. The better taqwa is that they running away more from the forbidden actions or the actions that is not even forbidden, but there is question mark. They leave it to the side. And anything that comes to their heart doesn't have to be farce. It's just something good they run to do for Allah's sake. So then you go to our station, and you see so many people running every morning to you're getting up, running back and forth. They're so busy, but they're not running for Allah's sake. They're running for dunya's sake. So they're running for themselves. They are good people. They're doing everything. And so many times they're earning, and they're giving it to others too. But it doesn't, when it comes to taqwa, it doesn't give them anything there. They're not in higher station. Because they're not doing things for Allah's sake. If they keep it for Allah's sake, the dunya is going to come with it anyway. I'm running to do this for Allah's sake. I'm not running to do this for my own sake. <coughs> so you put Allah high. You put Allah priority. What I do is for you. If I'm making this class, then I am. That's for you. 
are categorized this. Glass blower. Huh? Whatever, glass blower is only just artist. Or whatever, what do you call it? Huh? Artisan. Artisan. Uh, Sculptor. 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 Designs here. Potter. Ceramicist. Take your trash. Craftsman. Craftsman. It's everything in craftsman. When I say this class doesn't have to be this class only, the man make this. Or this. Craftsman. What kind of English you speak? So if he's doing this class, he's a craftsman, he's putting the design there. Okay? Now he's doing that to sell it, to make money. But the man is knowing that Allah is watching me. Allah is knowing. So what I should put here? I should put something here that Maybe I please Allah too, the best of design, because Allah designed the best things. Allah made this flower such a beautiful. Hmm? He didn't make this, this flower didn't make it himself. The flower, it, Allah is the one who is the best designer. He designed them and he designed them. So he designs everything such a beautiful way. So let me do this that way. Although that you're working for somebody else, you're making this class, and the man is going to make money, he's just going to get your pay. Doesn't matter. When you put your heart in it, while you are undoing, let me watch the reza of Allah. Pleasure of Allah. The pleasure of Allah in this. That time, look what kind of work is going to come out from there. If the person is doing the same thing exactly, and you're doing the same thing, and that one's heart and intention is the pleasure of Allah, and that one's heart and intention, it is the pleasure of dunya, earning of dunya, you're going to see that the mankind is going to pull man to that side. No matter who's looking, the both is same, doesn't matter. The intention and the, and the idea there and the love that putting there is different. It's going to pull the person to that side. So you think that two is going to be same? Both did something good, but one he watched the pleasure of Allah while he was doing, and he's earning money through that way, doesn't matter. But he's watching the pleasure of Allah. That's what it means when we do that. And there's some, they just go completely leaving everything, saying, I don't want any do that. I'm going to give my energy, I'm going to give this up. Just for Allah. That is different. So that is what we call taqwa, going higher station. Understanding? We did it. Doctor, checking the patient. One is checking the patient in the pleasure of Allah. The one is checking the patient because he's watching, he has higher authorities about me, he has insurance problems, this I have to watch correctly. I don't care for this idiot. I don't like this man, maybe he dies, but if he dies in my hand, I'm gonna be in trouble, so I have to watch, right? So there is no pleasure of Allah there, there is no uh, you're not doing things for Allah's sake there. And that is the sickness that enter to the Muslims in this 21st century. Muslims, they were not doing that before. That's why they were high always. Allah was putting them up. They pulled the sword for what? Why they were pulling the sword? For Allah's sake. For Allah's sake. And they were winning in front of the armies that it was almost impossible to win. They were winning. Because they were not pulling their sword to kill people, to take their wealth away. They were just pulling their sword saying, you are disobedient to the Lord of the heavens, and you making other ideas of Lord, then this sword is for you. And they were running for this 100 years, this one century, empty people out. But you cannot say, I cannot find safety when we say, well, we just find ourselves in this time. So we are living, so we have no fault in it. The sit is there, the faith sit is there. So it's up to you now how much, what you put in it to open up. 
how much you're opening up. The more you're opening up is good for you, more vision opens up to you. As we say, more things opens up to you. That time you understand every value that is around you. That is the time that you understand really the value of the, the, the rightly guided leaders. Because now you understand the trouble of Ahiret too. They're saying, oh, I think I know something in dunya, but I know nothing. There's some things that somebody that Allah gave the key to their hand. And now it is pleasure to me. It is such a good thing to me that just to follow them. They are the one who's carrying the headache. That time you understand the value. Now they don't. Sure, I, I want to do this and then say, okay. Don't do it this way, do it that way. But the share, this is how it is. So you do what you like. Then he goes and he finds him in trouble saying, well, I consult with the share. And the share said to me to do this, but it happened this way. <laughs> but yeah.